If you want to learn how to find the best products to sell on ClickBank, then stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Drew Gallagher, and today I'm going to show you how to find the best products to sell on ClickBank. So let's dive right into it. So ClickBank is an affiliate marketplace where you can sell products that are converting well, and you can become an affiliate and earn high commissions like 50%, 75%. Sometimes 90 or even 100% on the commission. Let's go over what you can do with the marketplace. So, if you go to find products and you do just an empty search, you don't need to put anything in this address bar, you just click the search button. What it's going to do is sort by popularity. Popularity is a great statistic to figure out what offers are popular, and that's going to show you, you know, what you should be promoting. So, if something's popular, that means other people have endorsed it in a way that they're either promoting it. Or it's doing good what you can do is do a little more investigation on these popular products you can also look at the gravity score and you can sort by gravity so gravity is essentially a number that goes up and down based on the number of people that have sold the product in the last 12 weeks at first it might be inflated if there's a bunch of sales and then like if they go down the gravity could change significantly so you want to pay attention to that score over time it's best to probably look at popularity and then you can look at the gravity two and then kind of combine that to make a decision at the end of the day these statistics don't mean as much as like reviews or your experience selling the product or talking to other affiliates that are selling the product because it might look really good on clickbank and there might be a lot of people selling it or making transactions that doesn't necessarily mean that the customers are being happy because you could sell 100 products in the first day and then they all refund later that week. You got to look up the history and the reviews and we'll go over that and how to do that. So let's pick a product like Take Surveys for Cash and let's try to assess it. It has a gravity of like 30, which isn't super high like some of those other ones we were just looking at, but a score of around 30 to like 80, that's pretty good because it's kind of like balanced and it's not super competitive. One thing to note about the gravity score, if it's extremely high, that means the competition is through the roof. What happens is a product will be popular, everybody will jump on it because we'll see it's at the top, and then it will just rise to popularity. However, it becomes more saturated. So every time you put a video out there, every time you write a blog post, every time you do paid advertising, you're going to have to pay more, you're going to have to release more content, you're going to have to compete with people that have been doing it maybe for a couple months or maybe even a year, depending on how long it's been out there and thriving. And then you might struggle to compete with them and enter into that market. So it's actually best to find something that is um, like a medium range of gravity. This is a pretty good one. You want to assess it based on reviews and the ClickBank engine. So we're gonna look at that tool. It's a great tool to assess how a product is doing. Take surveys for cash, number one paid survey site on ClickBank. So if we go to ClickBank engine, cbengine.com, this is a great site to assess whether or not a product is doing well over time. So what you can do is you can look at products we highly recommend promoting. So it's saying like people are making up to five grand a day. It says you'll earn 75% commission on all sales and they'll send follow up emails with your ID. So it's saying it's highly recommended. So let's take a look at this. We already looked at it within ClickBank. So this is the actual affiliate page. So it's talking about how people are making money doing paid surveys. There's like a story and you can read about it and watch the video. Now I'm not endorsing this product. It looks good on the surface, but I'm just looking at it from you know high level view and we're going to look at some reviews and assess it more properly that is something you should always do you should never just jump in and try to sell a product just because a site says so everybody's trying to sell you everything right so what you need to do is you need to assess it by watching certain videos reading blogs and try to get a gauge and then also read customer reviews there's nothing more important than a customer review. They're the ones that are gonna be buying the product and reading your emails and interacting with you. So you need to make sure that those people are happy at the end of the day. What we can do is we can look through this and there's like screenshots talking about freedom, you know, people are taking paid surveys. Okay, so there's a bunch of information on here and what we could do is go back to ClickBank Engine and we can learn more about this. So what we can do is we can actually go to the top left and because it is a top vendor, we can see survey six. So this is for that one. You can also see one minute wait is directly tied to one minute wait loss. You can look at some of these top vendors. You can also do searches. For certain features, you may have to become a pro member. So that costs a membership fee, it says $27. So you can do a lot more searches. You can look at histories of the change in gravity and the change in price. So if you're serious about ClickBank, this is a good tool to invest in. It's not that much money, 
and it will give you more data so you can make more informed decisions. So if we go to survey six as the vendor, take surveys for cash. So it's showing the gravity for the vendor referred, the commission rate that you're gonna get. And then if you pay for the pro version, you can look at like the different histories and you can learn more about its popularity over time. So what you can do is you can actually see what this product has done over time and ranking in this category. So if we look at this category, so you can see that its rank has gone up recently and you can kind of assess like what its momentum is and you can see, you know, what its change is. You can learn more about its full payout history by paying and subscribing to this service. If you're really interested in learning more about it and wanting to do more evergreen sales that things are going to last a long time, then I suggest that you invest in a tool like this. You can see the initial earnings per sale. Looks like it dropped in 2015. This is more recently. So it has trended upward and it's fluctuated a little bit here. And you can see more data about it. So this is a great site to learn more about the product and to see, you know, where it's trending. It's kind of like stocks, you know, day to day. It might not tell you everything about it, but, you know, you could figure out over, you know, a period of years, like on this graph you can see if it's going to be doing well or not. This is a really great graph to look at. So you can see the gravity has dropped substantially, which means less people are promoting it. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad product. It just means they might have shifted to something else. Maybe this is when it first came out and then, you know, less people have been promoting it. Maybe there are more paid survey sites that have come out. So you can look at this data and assess it. If you see big dips, like recently, since the thing has been released in gravity or payouts or whatever, then that might be a red flag. You can see that the initial sales are still up and you can see that the amount of referred is still up and it's just the gravity drop. So actually it just means it's lower competition and that there's less people selling it. So this might be a good one to start with. This is a great site to use. If you wanna learn more about a product, then I would just do a Google search. So I would say take surveys for cash reviews. And I would do this before every single product you're gonna promote. So, so this person says it's a scam and it might be a scam. So I can't tell you if it's a scam or not. You're gonna have to evaluate it. I haven't sold this product, but this is the reason you do these searches, right? Because it might look great on those two sites, but what you can do is you can start reading through these blogs. And it looks like the ugly truth revealed. So that's probably not a good sign. So warning signs why you should not join it. So there's a lot of people saying why you shouldn't join it. There's also people that will say it is legit. So, you know, there's four out of four reviews for this. Is it a scam or not? So you have to, you have to kind of weigh the options. It's like anything else. There's going to be people that are trying to sell you something on every website and you have to assess whether or not it's worth it. Really the best way to do this is to actually go out and sell it. You know, watch some of these videos, you know, read some of these articles and figure out, okay, do I want to take the risk in my niche? Do I think it's doing well? What are the statistics saying? Does this product serve my customers well? Then you should try to sell it. And if you don't succeed, if people are, you know, not very satisfied within three to six months of you selling a decent amount of the product, or maybe it's not selling at all, then switch products. And there's always another product on ClickBank and there's always another affiliate product to sell. So don't get discouraged. I've tried to sell products on ClickBank before and it can be difficult to paint on the product, especially if it's like a cheesy product. There's a lot of those on ClickBank. There's a lot of good ones, but there's also a lot of bad ones. So you gotta be careful which ones you pick. So to recap, what you should do is you should look up the gravity and popularity, assess offers based on that. Then what you should do is you should go to something like ClickBank Engine and you should try to look at the statistics over time for the popularity, how much is being paid out and how much the product's being referred. And then you can do a Google search and you can see what is this product, you know? How do I use it? You know, what do other people think of it? Because that's what matters at the end of the day. And you can assess your options from there. Between those three sources, you should be able to make an educated decision. The other thing you should do is when you are selling, there's gonna be a little section under the statistics for that ClickBank product where it says the gravity and all that. It will say my stats. And when you start selling a product, it will say, okay, this is how much the product's being refunded or this is how much you've made. If you're getting a high refund rate, like 20, 30%, you know, whatever you think is a high rate, depending on how many sales you're making and how much money you're losing from the refunds, then you should be like, okay, well maybe I need to reassess the situation because you might not want to sell that product then.
This is how you find great products on ClickBank to promote. Just search for them, try to figure out their popularity, network with other affiliate marketers, ask them what they think, go into a Facebook group, stuff like that, ask what people are promoting. Sometimes people won't be you know, completely honest because they don't want you to compete with them, but there will be people out there that will give you good advice, so just stick to it. I'm gonna be making more videos on ClickBank and affiliate marketing, so if you like this video, hit that like button, I really appreciate it. Also, if you wanna hear more content about affiliate marketing and how to make money online, then subscribe to me, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for listening, peace out. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video, I really appreciate it. If you liked the content in this video and wanna see more videos like this, please click the subscribe button. Make sure to click the little bell icon and turn on all notifications so when I come out with new content, you'll be notified.